Hey, what's up, guys? It's Wes. It was dark. Can you see me? Got something a little quick today. I've been uh, working out here, and uh, it's it's chaos. Can you see all the chaos? Well, that's not what this is about. Um, I'm working on this little mini chopper here. And I put brakes on it. <coughs> so I'm going to give you a little update to show you what I did. This is going to be a quickie. So hold on a second. <laughs> Okay, well here's my mini chopper, my son's mini chopper, my, my youngest son's now. It always had front brakes, it's like moped setup up here, that, just ignore that zip tie, that's for me putting it back together. But, for a long time it didn't have back brakes, so what I did, this is, uh, it's like the original caliper. But this uh, mini bike used to have like a 59 or 49 cc two-stroke, and I've swapped it out for 212 Predator years ago, 2014 to be exact. It's been through a lot of abuse. And, you know, it's in another video it has a color change paint. Ugh. Changes from purple to green to black. It's pretty cool. The seat's pretty sour. That's not okay. Let's move on. So like I said, this is the original brake caliber, but I had to move it to the other side to put the Predator motor in. So I modified the bracket, made a little plate to mount it onto the fork. It goes over the axle. And then I ran the cable around. Then I made this foot brick lever. Kind of cut it out with the plasma cutter. It sits like a little farther back than the foot peg. See, I was just welding on it. So what I did here was I got some. I don't know what size this rod is. It's like three eighths rod, steel rod, and I bent it, and then bent to L. And then I drilled this. Can you see? So this fits inside there. Drilled this, put a cable clamp on it, and a little spring. A couple of nuts to stop it. There's a stop right here. Pretty cool. Oop. A little bit of brake action there. But, still need to zip tie this up here. I think it'll be pretty cool. This thing's had the disc on there since day one. But I never, never got around to putting a brake. I needed the brake that came on. This looks like the original brake. This was the one that came with the bike when I bought it. And it's missing a lot of stuff. There's like a floater bracket. This came with. And this one's in good shape, but it's just missing stuff. So that's kind of why I didn't do it. But I got this one the other day, and it's pretty complete. It's got, uh, I had to modify. This is just a bolt I drilled a hole through and uh, modified this a little bit so the nut can clear. This way I have the adjuster you know, where it doesn't rub. But uh, I'm happy with it. But I think that's uh, I think that's going to be it, guys.
just wanted to show you what I've been up to. I didn't film any of this. I really didn't. I don't know. I wasn't in the mood for filming, but I like the way it turned out. So I thought I'd show you. All right. So we think is it cool? I think it's cool. Check it out. I added a window into my shop. This was something uh some of the garbage. Pretty cool. Gives me some natural light. Mm, natural. Alright, well that's it. I mean this is like a short or something. Maybe I'll call these shorts. I don't know. A little five minute video, so if you like this kind of thing, hit the like button. Subscribe if you want to. Or not. So uh, you guys uh, take it easy. Oh yeah. Before I end it today, I put the tires on the back on the mini bike. Looks pretty good. Got the front one on. The back one. Nice. I think it's all right. This thing's ready for another season of abuse. America. All right, that's it.